Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for September 8th, read by Kurt L. from Albuquerque, New Mexico. AA thoughts for the day. Solution. The tremendous fact for every one of us is that we have discovered a common solution. We have a way out in which we can absolutely agree and upon which we can join in brotherly and harmonious action. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 17. Thought to consider. The solution is simple. The solution is spiritual. Acronyms. Care. Comforting and reassuring each other. Just for today. A long way from into action. If we have no such complication, there is plenty we should do at home. Sometimes we hear an alcoholic say that the only thing he needs to do is to keep sober. Certainly he must keep sober, for there will be no home if he doesn't. But he is yet a long way from making good to the wife and parents whom for years he has so shockingly treated. Passing all understanding is the patience mothers and wives have had with alcoholics. Had this not been so, many of us would have no homes today, would perhaps be dead. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 82. Daily Reflections. We asked his protection. We asked his protection and care with complete abandon. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 59. I could not manage life alone. I had tried that road and failed. My ultimate sin dragged me down to the lowest level I have ever reached, and, unable to function, I accepted the fact that I desperately needed help. I stopped fighting and surrendered entirely to God. Only then did I start growing. God forgave me. A higher power had to have saved me, because the doctors doubted that I would survive. I have forgiven myself now, and I enjoy a freedom I have never before experienced. I've opened my heart and mind to him. The more I learn, the less I know. A humbling fact. But I sincerely want to keep growing. I enjoy serenity, but only when I entrust my life totally to God. As long as I am honest with myself and ask for his help, I can maintain this rewarding existence. Just for today, I strive to live his will for me. Soberly, I thank God that today I can choose not to drink. Today, life is beautiful. As Bill sees it, face the music. Don't be too discouraged about that slip. Practically always, we drunks learn the hard way. Your idea of moving on to somewhere else may be good, or it may not. Perhaps you have gotten into an emotional or economic jam that can't be well handled where you are. But maybe you are doing just what all of us have done at one time or another. Maybe you are running away. Why don't you try to think that through again carefully? Are you really placing recovery first, or are you making it contingent upon other people, places, or circumstances? You may find it ever so much better to face the music right where you are now and, with the help of the AA program, win through. Before you make a decision, weigh it in these terms. Letter 1949 Big Book Quote And we have ceased fighting anything or anyone, even alcohol. For by this time, sanity has returned. We can now react sanely and normally. Big Book, page 84. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. Another of the mottos of AA is, but for the grace of God. Once we have fully accepted the program, we become humble about our achievement. We do not take too much credit for our sobriety. When we see another suffering alcoholic in the throes of alcoholism, we say to ourselves, But for the grace of God, there go I. We do not forget the kind of people we were. We remember those we left behind us. And we are very grateful to the grace of God which has given us another chance. Am I truly grateful for the grace of God? Meditation for the Day A consciousness of God's presence at one who loves you makes all life different. The consciousness of God's love promotes the opening of your whole being to God. It brings wonderful relief from the cares and worries of our daily lives. 
Relief brings peace and peace brings contentment. Try to walk in God's love. You will have that peace which passes all understanding and a contentment that no one can take from you. Feel sure of God's unfailing love and care for you and for all of his children. There is freedom and serenity in those who walk in God's love, held safe in his loving care. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may walk in God's love. I pray that as I go, I may feel the spring of God's power in my steps and the joy of his love in my heart. Hazelton Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. My name is Kurt L. I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.